Neo. We are awoken. We've got all the parts back here with the detective detective robot. Find Amanda. I guess we're, we, we've already died twice with this guy, dude. This guy, this guy is just like Goku in the game. I'm going to call him Goku because he, he dies and he comes back like I don't know how many times, right? But, uh... I, I, yeah, I, who, who's Amanda? Wait, can I, like, scan where Amanda is? Oh, she's over here, so I'm gonna walk all the way around Namaste area over here. Looks like, it looks interesting, because it, it has all these, like, geometrical shapes to kind of look natural, but then it, I don't know, it looks weird. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. The new deviants could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It will be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Uh... It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner as if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? He's obviously not what I was expecting, but I don't have enough information yet to form a definitive opinion. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. <laughs> I don't think she's an android. You said, uh, is Amanda RA9? She doesn't have the little thing, but we saw someone else remove it. But I think there was still a small marking of where it was. Again, I'm not positive on this, but it's just a observation right now. Go to reception. What's up? Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Hey, I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. It's that desk right there. Has spoken of intolerable provocation that cannot go unanswered. The countries in the region, particularly Sweden and Canada, Detroit today. Three laws of robotic parenting. <laughs> what else is there? I want, I want the, the, the I want to go to that club. That's what I'm, that's the only thing I'm looking for. No club. I'm out. <laughs> All right. Oh, what the heck? All right. Is that one of these? Can I just like chill? Oh wait, there's suspects or with these other android robots? Find his desk. His 
name is blank? Who's this? Who's man's this? Maybe it's this one right there. Because he said he wasn't here. I'll get this one. Oh. Detective Reed. Unless someone else is standing at his desk. Break room, meeting room. Yo, can we get some snacks? I don't know. It's like blocked off. I, I like how this is like a mission. You gotta find his desk. It's Collins. Anderson. All right. Just gotta like sit at his desk or something. Maybe maybe if I just zoom in on it, it'll like. Okay. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Okay. Well, sit down, man. Explore new office. Hi, honey. If that's the objective, what's the objective? Listen. Examine his desk? Learn about him? I feel like that's kind of like snooping around. I'll kind of see what kind of music he likes. We yeah, better got the Avril Lavigne. Do you want a skater boy? Play. Knights. Oh, here, let me show you the name of the song. Oh, dang. It was like Knights of Black. It was some type of metal music. Um, what else can we do? Analyze. Warning to avoid injury. Don't tell me how to do my job. How's my driving? 1 800. I don't care. We're losing. We're looking for clues here? Detroit basketball. So he's like a fan of that team, I guess. Jimmy's bar. I wonder if that was the bar that we went to. It's a plant. Japanese maple. Asian shish. Oh, just call it Japanese maple. That's the easy name. <laughs> All right. Uh, coffee cup. Cold coffee. Traces of caffeine. Donuts. Wow, dude. The the meme, man. Uh, but to answer your question, uh, Corvus, I love this game. Easily one of my favorite games of 2018. Easily, like no 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 doubt. Don't even need to think about that. Um, I, I, again, as of right now, th there is there's there's a few ways that they can really mess up this game, and I just hope they don't do it. Um, what does it say? We don't bleed the same color. Oh, so he's racist. Wait, hold on. How come it doesn't let me select that we don't bleed the same color thing? It like it looks like it kind of highlights it, but then it's like no. You see that? anti android slogans. Okay. Well, we're missing, uh... What? We're missing how many clues? We already got the maple. He likes donuts. I already scanned that. He's got trash. Oh, there's this. What is this? Hairs? Canine hairs? He's a St. Bernard? He even knows what kind of dog it is? Dang, dude. And then we have a... Uh, oh, we have the matches. Right, there's one more clue here. Basically scan him just for this last little clue. Oh wait, there's something else over here. Ah! Red Ice Task Force, multi-department unit response for the Red Ice Network dismantle of 20, wait, 20, 2028. Uh, something not, something you owe me $50, a good cop, real police. He <laughs> like he circled one guy and said asshole, but he might be just a joke. That might actually be his friend. Um, it's cool though. So we, we we've gathered all the information. The analysis is complete. So the guy's racist against androids. So I think that was like the most to me that was the most important thing. Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. But Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! Yeah. 
You know what's interesting? He has that armband, um, which is the same armband that Virgil has, except for it says it has like the uh, the Sparta insignia, which I actually have too. <laughs> I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android mage and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen. I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Uh, <laughs> let's go pause it. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. <laughs> I can assure you I'll do my very best. Close the door on your way out. <laughs> What difficulties? Nice it's on captain. the hardest difficulty that we have at the start, which is experienced. Apparently, um, the easier difficulties make it so things don't die, our characters don't die, but we go permanent due to hardcore Diablo. Alright, uh, we gotta check on Hank. Wait, which one's Hank? That's him, right? Uh, let's go new Connor. I understand the destruction of my fun. predecessor may have been unpleasant for you, Lieutenant. I'll do everything I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. Oh, uh, so let's... Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. <laughs> Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Hmm. Alright, well I guess that's my desk. Uh, do we have every, everything we can you talk about? You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. <laughs> I like turtles. What's your dog's name? <laughs> What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Alright, we're, we're gonna go through everything, because might as well. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Oh, that was the wrong answer. Okay. Oh, we lost points on that one. I know you guys can't. Here, let me move this so you guys can see the points because um, you gain or lose favor. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. Oh, that was a plus. This is, it reminds me of these hentai games, right? Let's do this, though. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah. 
There is one. Oh, okay, we lost points on that? That makes sense, though. I probably shouldn't have asked them that, but I, I was kind of curious. All right, let's go ahead and start working. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Uh, let's just go to files. Okay, so this guy is missing. Uh, the plaintiff reports that he left his Android at home as usual when he went to work. The Android was nowhere to be found. No trace of a break in the apartment. The Android may have left the home without being ordered to. Wait, do I have to select one of these cases or something? Okay, so this one, the case is open. Alright, so... Plaintiff claims to have been attacked by an AV500 something model. Android working as a waiter in the Fast Coney Dogs restaurant chain situated at uh, 842 Chamberlain Avenue. The plaintiff claims the Android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. The Android remains at large. This one's missing too. Um, this one over here. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her Android apartment, or uh, AP700. 480-913-802 model. The android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. The plaintiff manager of Eden Club. Oh, that's one I want to go. <coughs> Is it Eden Club? That's 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 the robot club, boys. All right. Reported unexplained disappearance at the of sex android model. Dub, wait. Uh, yeah, model uh, W400. I'm not sure if the numbers, if they go up, they're so higher model. Can be, oh, I, I do love how loud we can be. Yo, perfect time. Jacob, thanks. Up, it's boy, unicorn. <laughs> unicorn. Unicorn 449. Thank you for the sub, uh, Jenkins. <laughs> but anyways, the Android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. Okay. Uh, it just says destroy. Oh, this, oh, this this one is uh, destroyed. Leo Manfred was found uh, unconscious at the home of his, uh, his father, Carl Manfred, or Freed. The later's witness statement attests to an altercation between his son and the house android. The android is thought to be a prototype unknown model and serial number and was destroyed by the scene uh, of attending officers. Um, is this, now we're going to the same ones now? Oh, wait, no, this is the last one. The victim's body was found by a friend who came to sell a hello. He immediately called the emergency service at 842. It was recorded by the gunshot wound. The moon weapon might have belonged to the victim. His Android AX400 was not found on the scene. This is, uh, that's Kara, right? I think that that one's Kara. That's interesting. But you can see these cases. Wow. Let's go ahead and scan all the files. I'm not sure what this does. 243 files. Unknown is Marcus, yeah. Back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Understanding? I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them, and- Hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? Yeah, it was 68% of guys prefer androids. That's actually true, though. Um, I, I, th I think that that's uh, a little, little low. Uh, let's go ahead and see determined. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Oh, savage. <laughs> Listen, asshole. <laughs> if it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. I'm gonna see if we can kill him. If we can kill him, we're doing it, man. I don't really like that guy. I I'm pro Android, if you guys didn't know. Hank got a lead. Okay, well, so you can get a lead or not get a lead, I guess? What well, percent? Okay, so 3%, like, I don't even know how you fail that. I, I, I legitimately tried to be disrespectful. Uh, I was even cheeky. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Ten in the morning. All right, we're back at it. Waking up from Alice is distant. She doesn't like us. Oh, cause we, I think it's because we stole the clothes. Dang, dude. But but didn't we reassure? Change appearance? Cut hair? Move away. I don't I don't want to move away. I guess I have to. There's no other option. I don't want to cut my hair. I don't like I don't like short hair on girls. I like I like long hair, long or medium. But when it when it's something that like um that super short hair, don't like it. Like Krillin, oh dude, I cannot stand that hairstyle on girls, man. So we're just gonna let her sleep, and what's her objective? Go to the barber boys? Nah, I mean if we can. But we don't have money. So there's like a... Something over here. What is this? Because if we're cutting the hair, it's only going to get short. But I think it's a smart thing to do. Wait, what? Oh. Uh, I guess there's only one option at this point. Well... I think it was an objective too, so. I think she's so smart, she's like, I'm gonna I'm not have the 5 0 on me. No, she's so much better looking, man. Wait, hold on. Accessing color options blonde, white, or black? I think we're already running black, right? Let's try white. Whoa, that's really cool. Is, is black what we had on? Or I think we might have had brown before. Let's go blonde and see what she looks like when she's blonde. Which one do you guys like the most, by the way? Here, let me move the cam so you guys can see it a little bit better here. I feel like that doesn't even look blonde. It might be because of the lighting. I I'm going to go with white. It's more gray, but whatever. I'm going to go with that one. You see I see I see the white. The blonde didn't even look blonde. Wait, we're going to remove the chip? So, so what is this chip that you can remove? Oh, so you can remove it completely. And it Oh. So what is that thing? That's what I'm really wondering. And why are you allowed to rem uh, remove it? Remove it LED. All right, what's our next objective? Explore area and check the neighborhood. Death to androids. Can we get like a part out of this? I see it. I see it. With the wrong side of the hood. Tracer. Wait, oh, there's just something on the ground. Oh, it's is that animal book. I'll give it to uh. First androids. Wait, android zoos. Canada still android free zone. Wow. Okay. I don't want to read too much of the, like the uh, deep lore now because I feel like it just makes it less entertaining for the playthrough. Unless it's something I would consider important. They just said it's LEDs, as in it glows. Death to androids, huh? No, dude, I I'm pro android, so. Canada, police patrolling the area. But like, we already removed our LED, we already changed our hair color. So we're we not allowed to leave this area? What's the other thing say? Right. Okay, so we need to wake up Alice. I wish they added like a, like a... Actually, you know what? They don't really need a run feature in the game. What they need to do is shorten the distance between objects to make it so the game, like, the game's pace is a little bit better. It's death to humans exterminate exactly, man. Alice. Wake up, Alice. So it wasn't a nightmare. Yeah, no. I killed your dad. <laughs> no, it wasn't a nightmare. <laughs> How do you feel? I'm cold. 
What are we gonna do now? That android we saw yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. The train passes just on the other side of the road. The station can't be far. You feel okay to walk a little? Let's go then. <laughs> she didn't even say nothing. You're pretty like that. You really look like a human now. Well, only only humans are pretty. All right, let's leave. But um, I don't know if we have to leave this way because that way it had police. So I'm just guessing. Social commentary and race. I don't know. I feel like there there's a lot of stuff that like is like similar to like racism back in the days. Like all the androids got to sit at the back. But it makes sense if they have to like recharge. That's oh, for now. Ready to go. There's that guy. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? I have no idea. <laughs> What's weird is we know exactly, like, what happened. The first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. Reach the train station. Oh, this should be easy since we had the outfit. And we changed our hair. Danger level? Sneak past the cops? We I don't understand why we even need to sneak past the cops though. So that's our destination. So basically we gotta Ooh, there's one like right in front of us. Oh, we have to hold this button down, too. Scan. Because I think if we get caught once, that's it. Like, I don't- I hope- I want to actually do this playthrough, like, slightly correct. Well, on Kira's side, though, that is. Oh, what the heck? Oh, ninety percent, but it's just it's just a, just to uh, debate you. So we just keep, gotta keep zigzagging. Wait, wait, what the heck are you doing? Hold my hand. We are crossing the street, girl. You know that Metal Gear Solid font, though. Shout out to Metal Gear. Take. Wait, what the? Shit, that's them. Stop. Oh. Oh. Quick, call it in. We saw them headed for the train station. Oh, rip me, man. Wait, and uh, wait, what if I just like don't don't catch them? I let them go. <laughs> That's wait, that means I get to choose the outcome of this game. That's really cool. Although at this point, uh, I, I I'm going to fail on this guy's end. What if I just run? You can't actually run the street though. Wait, oh, you now I can. It's because the car was gone. Now are they moving? No. Done good. No, I want them to get away. What the heck? This guy, dude, it magnetized me towards him. It was just like, nah, dude, you wanna, you wanna go say hi to him. They're over there. This is so cool, though. Like, I, I can, I can let them get away. Is there like any dance emotes? I'm wondering if I run, if I'll ca actually catch them. But I'm gonna play it slow. Oh fuck! That's insane.
How did they know it was us? We, we dyed our hair. What was the point of dyeing the hair then? Like, to, to me, that doesn't make any sense. Like, why would you dye the hair, have a different outfit, if they if you can't just walk out in the daylight anyways? Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no longer. It's it's the little girl. Oh, I did pick up something. Yeah, I guess I was supposed to hold it. I thought it was just tap L1, because it was, yeah, my bad on that. What the heck? But uh, you know what, I, I really wonder though? Oh, what's this? Is it, like, how come each Android isn't programmed where you can just be like, oh, I need to know the, the GPS location of it. Like, that would make the most sense, right? That's like, in my personal opinion, one flaw with, like, these cases of, like, missing Androids. Maybe if they took out the thing that would make them, like, th they would take out their GPS tracker, right? That would make sense. But they have to be connected to some type of network to access the database. And is there no, like, IP or those kinds of things? I don't know. Follow the trail to Jericho. It's just one of those like newspapers. Find the graffiti. I mean, this is it right here. Do I have to go through the wall? Graffiti. Uh, so it's a lion. Mm. And it's funny. I, this is just one random thing in this game. I want to know why. I. I so you can't actually um, go on the uh, escalator. So we have to blend in with the humans. But how could they even tell them if you remove that? Like, to me, it looks they look so real anyways. Is that the lion? There it is. There's the lion. That was a little too easy, but it's fine, it's fine with me. So I'm more interested in, like, the story and, like, the narrative of the game. even shows you where the symbol is. Oh! There's another symbol. There it is. Clue update. Oh! Top of something with stars? Yeah, if there's a club though, I'm definitely gonna go to that club first. Where's that club at? It's like over there. So it's a... It's like a pink and a... It's a star. Is there like a... There's no hints on this, okay. If you guys see it, you guys can feel free to backseat game me on this. And all downloads delivered your pasta without a fork. Oh, that's unfortunate, man. Oh, 
it's not this way then. I passed it, did I? Thanks for letting me know. Look up, it's behind me? Okay. Oh, it's right there, I see it, I see it. I can't walk. Okay, so th there is a lot of invisible walls in this game. Yeah, I see it though, it's to my right. I don't even have any money anyways. It's this. I see the stars. Yep. And another... Oh, right here. Who updated? Robots. Okay. Robots. So it's not this way. I'm guessing I have to cross the street. I don't, don't want to cross. I don't want to attract any attention. Let's see if we can find that robot, though. It's behind a gate, dangerized personnel, something. This looks like a gate right here, though. It's maybe around here. I wish this gave you like another clue. Somewhere within a fence, yeah, yeah. That's why I saw this fence and I was like, oh, easy, easy, but it's, it's not. I don't think that even does anything. Oh, uh, there's a fence over here. I wonder if it's just right. Oh, I see it. It's right. It's like right where we were. We just walked past it. They built a really nice world though, for sure. I mean, look at the detail on the sidewalk, how there's like grass growing. This is, I forgot, I think those might be for people that um, are blind, these things. I wanna say that's what it's for, but. Oh, right, it's right here. There's three symbols on this one? Oh. Crouch. Oh, we go under this. Make sure no one's looking. And move this like piece of wood. Person's face. Dude, that one was way too easy. There's one. Oh, that one's kind of hidden. That one. Shoot, man, you got me on that one for sure. But since before, find a way to reach the roof. Oh, okay. Oh, you got you got to move it from this this side. All right, all right. I don't really like the, the, the flick movements though. Unless it's like you're, you're fighting and you... 
feel like for the, these ones, since it's not intense, it's like unnecessary. Got the last one. All right. Let's say something sparkle, I think. Use the right stick to select a route? Wait, what? Would be unstable. Interesting. It's gonna be a chore just yeah it would it would definitely be a chore but if i already know um what these are right it's not that big of a deal it's like busy work and i think like they made the gameplay a lot longer than it needed to be and the uh, just like the, the small amount of like uh or the, the the amount of times you need to move in a small area there's one i see two the last one. Unless it's like inside or something. Unless it's like hidden. Dude, that other one that was hidden in the head? Oh my gosh, that one was... That one was insane. Wait, there's a dead body over here? Between Sparkle and City. Oh, shoot. I see it now. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it. I thought I was going to have to, like, climb up and find another clue. Dude, I don't really like this. This feels like... This feels like this is a straight busy work at this point. Like, I like the whole, like, you, you have to pre-construct. That's cool. I don't really mind that right now. It's not like I've done it, like, a thousand times, so... would not be solid enough. Well, what else do I have as an option? Is there another option? Would it be too unstable? Okay. Wall running? Is it necessary to hit the execute? Because they actually have to program this part, right? Pop back. <laughs> what the heck is that? Dead? Okay. Oh, what's that graffiti? Uh, is it this one right here? Through this, 
Dude, like I said, there's too much invisible walls in this game. right here. You have to look at it from a certain angle though. Uh, you know what this one is? I know what this one is. It's going to be you having to look at certain angles, like this one right here, to, to create the shape. There's one right there. What's this game? Uh, Detroit Become Human. It's like a movie. I legit got kind of spooked by that. Sixty dollars for a movie? No, it's it, it, it's basically a movie. But yeah, you you are you are right. But it's uh, a movie that you can experience the outcome of your choices. Spooky. I mean, there are some pretty scary moments. I mean, putting ourselves back together, that was... This is crazy. It's like the start of God of War 1. <laughs> oh, you watched that as a movie like at the very end? I don't think people would be patient enough for that though. Or if it's just like text and then you get to watch it. I like uh, the tilt controller. <laughs> the pour in the drink that that, that was kind of cool. I got a minute. <laughs> like, this game's gonna make me lose some calories, dude. I, I like it, dude. Who needs Wii Fitness? You can play this game. Yo, has anyone play Wii Fitness though? I've never actually played that game. We should stream it sometime. <laughs> you can drop your Samsung Galaxy some water. Wait, what? Oh, what the heck is this? Detroit today. Runaway machine causes panic in Camden. All right, what are, what are the other stories? Tag and Android astronauts to explore IO. Ah, uh, that's it. There's only two stories. Oh, this guy is also writing RA9, RA9. Is someone else moving too? Game. 
real spooky. Whoa. What's up, girl? You can drop your iPhone 6 in the water. It won't work after that. I don't know how ma people manage to uh, have that happen to them, though. Same style, it's also luck. So we're playing like some Resident Evil now, dude. It's like a horror. Yeah, it definitely feels like a horror game. I don't, I just I don't think they really need to have like the scares. It just, it just seems unnecessary. But otherwise, it doesn't make any sense for them. I like how my character accidentally just turned around. You're on the wrong side of the hood. Wait, it's all androids? Yo! Welcome to Jericho. Yo! That's crazy! That's Daniel! Daniel, so Daniel's not dead either? What? What the heck? They just call Hank Essen? Number five on the third. Dedicated split. That Philly's one hell of a chaser. You wanna flood it? Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages, baby. <laughs> Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Scan him. He's a criminal. Wow, dude. Hold on. Let's check out here. Let me move this here. So he's unemployed, illegal gambling, and fraud. So this guy's working with some bad people. <laughs> All right, I'm but in. he's partial Android? Straight. Hey, you won't regret this. <laughs> what is your problem? Won't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Uh, let's reconcile, let's see. I think our relationship got off on the wrong foot. We should forget what happened and start over. What do you say? Look, they sent me a piece of plastic for a partner, and I'm dealing with it. But if you think we're going to be buddies, you're as stupid as you look. There you go. How <laughs> can you just go to anyone? Scam! <laughs> Case Gary. Business over a criminal record. Resisting arrest. Breach of hygiene regulations. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, thanks, Gary. Although I just wouldn't want to eat. Don't leave that thing here. Oh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. No. What's that name of that song? Hey. Trap, trap, trap. Can we just like walk in? Oh no. So you got six dollars for chicken leg? Twenty dollars for a whole chicken thing. That's kind of expensive. Over here it's like six or seven dollars for a whole chicken. Uh gambling. This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant, 
but I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. We got plus points for that? This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I, and I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. Oh, so he likes us. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I'm the trap. <laughs> I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me. <laughs> now that's all I can think about in the background. Trap, trap, trap. All right. Uh, I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spent <laughs> a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? Uh, I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. I think he's liking us now, though, for sure. Like, we get into the, the right answers. It's strange. I thought if he found him doing something Ill illegal, he would just Connor. immediately uh, report. Uh, the batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh, well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Uh, Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Yeah. Feathers? A rock pigeon? Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Right. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Hmm. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. That trap music, dude. Yo, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna download that. We're gonna have it as like some type of a meme. That's all I could think about. Like when before you guys mentioned, I was actually paying attention to what they were saying, but then it just became all trap, trap, trap. What, the fuck is this? what pigeons? Oh my gosh, this happens though. Uh, 
Like pigeons Jesus can just take over. Stinks. Well, look, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. Check the fridge, dude. Got some goodies in there. The suspect doesn't eat. That isn't that. I don't think that necessarily like means they kicked out. Suspect cares for animals. No, oh, because they bought animal food. Okay. There's something with that. I need some fresh air. What is he eating? Oh, it's blood. Okay. Oh, it's from a missing model. LED? Okay, let me move this so you guys can see. Oh. It's LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. R A nine. Any idea what it means? R A nine. Written two thousand four hundred and seventy one times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Analyze the chair? What? Traces of avian fecal matter, so like bird poop on it? An open marker, still wet, used recently. Midnight mood, black. Well, what are we reconstructing? That he, he was writing on the wall? Uh, he was here recently, and he fell down? Suspect. Oh, rant. Oh, okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. So he was just, he was just now writing that. Then he ran over here. Skid mark, recent. Uh, trace of even female men, I don't know. Oh, so a metal hook. So I'm guessing it broke, and that's what he cut himself on, maybe? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yes. They, they heard them enter. And... Ah, uh, suspect is still here. Okay. We're gonna expose the subject. God damn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! Oh, I have to hold down. Before I was just like hit the button. Fast but risky. Balance. Fast but risky. That, that was the fast but risky. Uh, see if it crowded. Direct but crowded. That's kind of cool. You can make the decisions. I'm always picking the risky ones, though. Because we're playing on the harder difficulty, so the easy route is probably not going to get us there.
fast but risky. That's what we're going for. Chance of survival? Oh. Oh, shit! Oh shit! We had it! Fuck! It's my fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's alright. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Dang. I almost I must I don't know, like it was an instinct to just save him and then since I thought we had a high chance we'd be able to get both, but that's not how it works. My bad. I like you. Thank you. We wanted to say thank you, but they're trying to make it like he can't do it, but he's trying to open up. Okay. My bad, guys. I, I thought we were going to be able to get both because it was a chance of success. But I think it was the chance of him coming back up. So we saved Hank. Oh, I regret that choice, though. I don't really care about Hank. I don't really think he's that cool of a character. Uh, but I want to see what world's at. 76%. Oh, they got away. So, so I, I went for the normie answer. Yeah, I should have just let, left him. I know, man. Again, I thought that it was that I was going to be able to save him and get both. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. Uh, this is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. Free? And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. Oh, she's not bad looking at all. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. I'm color my All right, anyways, uh, let's just go, um... Trial? And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho! I understand how you feel. But we have more freedom here than you ever did. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see freedom. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Uh, I'll find you. $50. Actually, the uh, Android, as far as I'm aware of, there's only one cost that was revealed, which was 8000 Oh, I want to hit her up. Oh, wait. Never mind. Wait. I've heard humans are afraid of dying, too. It's a really old model or something. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What? What's your name? Marcus. I'm 
was glad to meet you, Marcus. That's weird. That's pretty damn spooky, but if you're watching this on YouTube, this is going to be the end of this part. Dude, I want to see what the heck Lucy looks like. Find out on the next exciting episode, though. Dragon Ball Z.